like you. You are highly exalted. You are our Father. You are our God. You are the living God. You are our Savior. You are our Redeemer. Blessed is your holy name. We don't have any other God but you are our God. And we worship you. And we glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, worship team. God bless you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We bless the Lord, and uh, it's my joy to share with you the word of the Lord. The Bible saying in the book of First John, 
First John chapter 4 and verse 6. We are from God and we ever know God listen to us. But whoever is not from God does not listen to us. So I want to thank the Lord kwa sababu ya wote ambao wana tusikiliza ambao pia wanatutazama. And uh, the Bible say we are from God. And uh, that is the reason you are listening us. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you safe. I want to share a message entitled God's Trademark. God Trademark. A trademark is a symbol, word, or name used to identify and distinguish the goods or surfaces of provider from those of others and to indicate the source of the goods or services. Every company and every institution have a trademark on their product. Even us as an institution, as a ministry, we have our trademark. And so ukiwa nyumbani, unatazama kupitia simu yako na pia viva zingine zote. You can identify and distinguish is it from the source house of faith and so a trademark it is used to identify and distinguish either goods or services of provider wanaweza kuwa ni watu wengi ama kampuni zingine ambazo zinatengeneza bidhaa zile lakini trademark itakueleza kwamba hizi bidhaa do they come from the source it is your responsibility as a user or a customer to check trademark ya bidhaa ambazo wanatumia why do we check the trademark ni kwa sababu kuna kampuni zingine za badia ambazo haja zao they are not concerned with the life of people or their health. And so haja zao ni kutengeneza pesa. Na kwa hivyo usipokuwa mwangalifu kuweza kuangalia to check the trademark of the product ambayo unatumia unaweza kutumia ile bidhaa ambazo they are counterfeit and then baadaye zilete madhara kwenye mwili wako people of god kuna maneno ambayo tunatumia katika maisha yetu katika mwili wa kristo katika taifa lakini 
hatuna wakati wa kuangalia God trademark katika yale maneno ambayo tuna apply katika maisha yetu Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 the bible saying my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge the reason watu wa Mungu wanaangamizwa si kwa sababu wao si wa Mungu we belong to God yes we are righteous kupitia kuamini lakini ni vyema kuwa waangalifu yale maneno ambayo tunapokea yale maneno ambayo tunaamini tuna wakati wa kuangalia the trademark god trademark and i can say kwamba kuna watu ambao sasa hivi mili yao iko na shida ama wamepata madhara katika maisha yao katika mili yao katika uso wao kwa sababu gani kwa sababu walichanganya wakatubia mafuta hii wakachukua hii wakachukua hii hawakuwa na wakati wa kuangalia the trademark ya mafuta ambayo wanatumia eso baadaye yale mafuta yakaleta madhara katika maisha yao ama uso wao people of god the bible say in the book of first john chapter 4 and verse when dear friend do not believe every spirit but test the spirit to see whether they are from god because many false prophets have gone out into the world people of god kuna maneno ambayo tunapokea na kuna maneno ambayo tunaamini lakini hatuna wakati wa kuweza kupima na kuweza kuangalia kwamba yale maneno je iko na god trademark ili niamini and then ni apply nitumie katika maisha yangu the bible saying Do not believe usiamini na usitumie maneno yoyote ambayo unazikia either from people who call themselves men and women of God in court politicians friends etc reason is because many prophets have gone out into the world lakini haja zao si mambo na kondoo haja zao ni wao wajifaidi so it's always good to check trademark ya kila neno ambayo unasikia The words that we receive and believe na kwa sababu haina God trademark inaleta hofu katika maisha yetu Hivi karibuni kuna mtu ambaye alisema kwamba Africa will die in millions Na kuna watu ambao waliamini na wengine wakaanza kujipanga lakini vyema kuweza kuangalia yale maneno ambayo yanasemwa yale maneno ambayo nimesikia je 
kuna gold trademark ili niamini wengine wakasema kwamba prepare for the worst by the end of april kutakuwa hivi na hivi na kuna watu ambao waliamini is always good kabla uamini kabla utumie maneno kuwa na wakati wa kuangalia the trademark in the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 9 Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 24 Jeremiah 9 and verse 24 Message Bible inasema hivi God message Don't let the wise brag of their wisdom Don't let the heroes brag of their exploit Don't let the rich brag of their riches If you brag brag of these and these only that you understand and know me i am god and i act in loyal love i do what is right and said thing light and fear and delight in those who do the same thing na ikimaliza very powerful Nasema These are my trademarks God the clean Meaning ya kwamba kama vile kampuni kama vile institution ziko na trademark na una, unaweza kueleza kwamba chobo hiki ni original Ninaona alama ya kampuni People of God hata Mungu anasema kwamba I have a trademark Na kuna maneno ambayo Mungu amesema Anasema kwamba these are my trademark And so people of God haya maneno tukitumia katika maisha yetu I'm very sure kwamba Hakuna madhara ambayo nitapata. Ninajua kwamba there will be result and a good result. And the Bible saying, do not let the wise wale ambao wanafikiria kwamba ni wasomi wawe na kiburi kwa sababu ya masomo yao. Kwa sababu ya vile ambavyo wamesoma. Ama ile hekima ya mambo ya dunia ambayo wako nayo na wasikue na kiburi na wasikue na kiburi wao wale ambao wanafikiria kwamba wanadhani ya kwamba wao the heroes wao ni maseleb kusiwe na yule ambaye ataangalia account yake angalie yale mali ambayo wako nayo utajiri and then baadaye akue na kiburi But the Bible saying Kama ni lazima uwe na kiburi ukue na kiburi kwa sababu you understand and you know God People of God ni vyema kumjua Mungu na ni vyema kumfahamu Mungu Wale ambao watu ambao hawana knowledge ya vitu They don't care. Wanaweza kutumia chochote. Sababu ni kwamba they don't have knowledge. Lakini people of God tukiwa na knowledge of God we understand God. Tutakuwa na wakati wa kuyatazama na pia kupima na pia kuangalia yale maneno ambayo 
tunazikia. Paul say in the book of uh, Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10. And the Bible saying NIV Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his suffering becoming like him in his death. People of God, it is my prayer today to tamani kumjua mungu Tunaweza kuangalia na tuseme kwamba hii imetoka kwa Mungu na kwa sababu ya hivyo nitaamini sababu pia nimejua God trademark kwa hivyo nitaamini hii nitaitumia katika maisha yangu and I will see results Nakumbuka wakati ambapo Laisi wa Jamhuri ya Kenya alikuwa kwenye mitandao Facebook na pia uh, Twitter na pia vitu zingine kwenye zile picha ambazo zilikuwa zikiingia katika social media zilikuwa na trademark kwa sababu gani kwa sababu kulikuwa na watu wengine ambao walikuwa wanaweka picha za president ama za serikali. And so watu ha, hawangeweza kutofautisha hii ni ya ukweli ama hii ni ya uongo. Lakini wakati ambapo waliweka trademark it was so easy kujua kwamba this is the original from the state house. People of God even us Lazima tuwe na knowledge. Knowledge of God. Ya kuweza kuangalia na kuzikiliza. Yale maneno ambayo tunapokea. Na tunajua kwamba haya maneno. Ikona God trademark. God trademark. Number one. Is kindness. People of God. The message. The word ambayo ulipokea jana juzi na pia leo iko na kindness of god kindness being generous helpful and caring mungu wetu ni mungu wa upendo amesema kwamba hata tuacha he is so kind and so kuna maneno mengine ambayo tunasikia oh Wanasema kwamba Mungu ameamua kutumaliza. Mungu ameamua kutuletea magonjwa. And I want to say kwamba hayo maneno hayana God trademark. And so sina wakati na kuamini. Lakini kila neno ambayo nina nasikia na ninaamini, ninaangalia the trademark of God. Kindness Mungu asema kwamba mzazi anaweza kukuacha lakini asema kwamba mimi sitakuacha That is a trademark God trademark And number two is righteousness Lazima maneno ambayo tunasikia iwe na uadilifu wa Mungu God message positioning the church positioning the nation and position us in God and number 3 is justice and so people of God ukiwa nyumbani ni vyema na ni ya baraka kuweza kuwa mwangalifu hata tuangalie mtu mmoja ambaye alipokea neno na kaamini najua kwamba kitu moja aliangalia ni ile 
message the word ilikuwa na trademark of god ili yamini anaitwa Elijah kitabu cha uh, first kings chapter 17 first king first king and chapter 17 and verse 2 the bible says tunatumia Kiswahili kisha neno la Mwenyezi Mungu lilimjia Elia verse 3 ondoka hapa uelekee mashariki ukajifiche penye kijito cha kelidhi kilichoko mashariki ya mto Yordan verse 4 huko utapata maji ya kunywa katika kijito hicho tena nimewaamuru kunguru wakuletee chakula verse 5 basi elia akatii agizo la Mwenyezi Mungu akaenda kukaa kwenye kijito cha kelidhi kilichoko mashariki ya mto Yordan This servant of God kuna message ambayo alipokea lakini kabla aipokee na itumie katika maisha yake jambo moja ilikuwa ni kuangalia the God trademark and God trademark is in verse verse 3 verse 3 nasema hivi verse 3 leave here turn eastward and hide in kelid ravine is of the jordan you will drink from the drink angalia the kindness of god god is so caring anamwambia vile ambavyo mungu atamsaidia helpful you will drink from the brook and i have ordered the lavens to feed you there mungu ako na mpango ya vile ambavyo atamlisha elia people of god mungu ako na mpango ya vile ambavyo atatulisha haijalishi yale mambo ambayo tunasikia yale mambo ambayo tunayaona lakini Mungu ako na mpango ya kwamba tutakula tutakunywa juzi ni kawa na tafakari vile ambavyo Mungu ametenda juu ya maisha yangu na pia juu ya watu wake unaweza kusema kwamba sio mambo na biashara ambazo tunafanya this is a trademark of god kwa sababu Mungu amesema kwamba walio wangu hakuna siku ambayo itawaachilia na watakula na watakunywa na hakuna siku hata moja ambao watoto wao wataenda kuombaomba nasi tu, tunapoamini neno hili Mungu ako na jia zake anatumia jia zake na tunapata chakula tunapata maji people of god wakati wa ambapo watu wako nyumbani ni maneno ngani ambayo unasikia je hayo maneno ambayo umesikia umechukua wakati wa kuangalia the trademark god trademark isaiah 43 and verse 1 na tukirudi nyuma kidogo Elia alipoamini vile ambavyo Mungu alisema The Bible say kwamba Mungu alitumia the lavens na wakampatia chakula And Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 1 This is what God is saying a time like this But now 
This is what the law say. And it's good to check whether this word has got trademark. But now this is what the law say. He who created you, O Jacob. He who formed you, O Israel. Fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by my name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. This is the kindness of God. This is God's trademark. Ya kuamba usiogope. Yale maneno amba umesikia. Either serikali mesema. Cabinet secretary of finance. Amesema. People of God. Do not fear. Mungu nasema kuamba. Unapopitia kwenye maji mengi. I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. Hakuna mambo ambayo ya tatubeba. Either ni magonjwa or economy, they will not sweep over us. And when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. God is so caring. This God trademark. The frame will not set you ablaze. The Lord will give you divine protection. For I am the Lord. I am the origin. You are God. The Holy One of Israel. You are Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom. Kush and Seba in your stand. People of God, it is a high time to believe the word of the Lord. Sijui ni maneno magani. Sijui ni neno gani ambayo utaamini. Lakini ni meamua wakati kama hu. I will believe the message of the Lord. Ya kwamba ako pamoja nami. Ako pamoja nasi na tusiogope anatuazia mambo mema and people of god haijalishi bidhaa kupanda na ziwe beikali lakini our god is a provider and so god will provide hata kama samaki inaweza toka elfu moja you don't need to fear God will provide that 1000. Kwa sababu amesema amesema kwamba atakuwa pamoja nasi. Nasema kitabu cha Psalm 34 and verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Lakini he will deliver from them all. But woe to those ambao wanaamini na kila mara kazi yao ni kusikiliza they don't want to listen vile ambavyo Mungu anasema kazi yao ni kuuliza na je leo serikali imesema nini na je leo the cabinet secretary wa health Amesema nini? Je, kabla sekitari wa agriculture amesema nini? Lakini hatuna wakati wa kujua vile ambavyo Mungu anasema. And that is the reason watu wengi maisha yao they are no result. I will believe the message of the Lord. Kuna wakati ambapo nilikuwa nauza video za cosmetics. Mafuta ya cosmetics. Na nilikuwa nikishangaa sana.
kwamba wale ambao ni kuwa nauzia vitu maana yale mafuta hayakuwa na trademark Esu kuna watu ambao hawakuwa hawakuwa keen kuangalia trademark kazi yao ilikuwa ni kuchukua mafuta na kuapply kwenye kwenye uso and then baadaye baadaye kiangalia mtu uso kuna zile pimples kubwa ama pade moja ni nyeusi na pade nyingine hazipelekani kwa sababu gani ule mtu hakuwa na wakati wa kuangalia trademark ya bidhaa ambazo anatumia people of god ibu angalia maisha yako na ujiulize hii neno ambalo niliapply katika maisha yangu nilikuwa na wakati wa kuangalia go trademark and i pray today kwamba Mungu atusaidie na neema yake itutoshe wakati kama huu and i declare go trademark to work in our life at time like this in Jesus mighty name and from today i will believe and you shall believe the report of the lord i want to declare today it is well with your soul it is well with you our nation our ministry in jesus mighty name and i declare the kindness of god justice of god righteousness of god over your life over your ministry over your family in jesus mighty name and i declare today there will be good result there will be result in jesus mighty name and i pray today that the lord may keep you safe in jesus mighty name i will not fear what the government is saying but i will believe the word of the lord the lord will keep me safe the lord will keep you safe The Lord we watch over you. There is no any arrow of a day that will harm you. You are safe in Christ Jesus. Wacha tuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kutupenda. Asandi kwa sababu uko na mpango mwema juu ya maisha yetu. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo inaomba kwa sababu ya wapendwa wa wote ambao wanatusikiliza, watutazama wapatie hekima ya kuelewa na kuwa makini ya vile ambavyo umesema na umenena. Naombea neema, naombea ulinzi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba wetu na Mungu wetu uwaifadhi kwa utukufu wa jina lako walio wagonjwa naombea bwana uponyaji walio chini ukawainue kwa utukufu wa jina lako waliofika mwisho naombea mwanzo kwa utukufu wa jina lako in Jesus mighty name we pray and we believe